Hi everybody, today I will show you how to edit pages in WordPress. So let's begin. Okay, to edit the pages in the WordPress, what we need to do, we need to go inside the pages and we're going to click on all pages and we can also click on add new page to create a new page here, but we don't want to create a new page. We're going to simply go inside the pages and here we're going to click on any of these pages here. Okay, so I'm going to simply click on the sample page, but before going into this, I just click on this. I need to show you which theme I'm using. Okay, because the theme is actually important here and also the page builder here. So right now let's click on the themes. So in the theme, actually I'm using the default theme of the WordPress as you can see here. And we can also use the Astro theme if you wanted to, but right now we are actually using this default theme here. Okay. So now we're going to go inside our added page into our sample page. So we are actually using the default Gutten words editor of the WordPress. And this is how it looks. Okay. So here you can see here that we have the heading, we have some paragraph text, and after this, we have the image. So how can we edit the pages here? That is really simple. Okay. So I'm going to click on the page here first. So in the page, you would be able to see a lot of the different options here. So the first one is the set featured image. So if you want to set a featured image for your page, you can simply add this from here. And after this, we have the status of the page that is published. And after this, we have the link of the page, author of the page and the template that we're using. And also you can see the other options here. And after this, you will be also able to see these other options here as well in the navbar. So we have the blog inserted here. So if you want to add the new elements into our page, you can simply do this from here. You can see this. We have a lot of the different options here. So in here we have the blocks, we have the patterns and we have the media. So if you wanted to add the media, we can also add this from here. Okay. Right now we're going to click on the blocks and after this, we have the tools here. So if I just click on the tools, you'll be able to see that we have the two options, whether we want to edit our page or we just want to select the things in our page. Okay. So right now I would actually go here with the edit. And after this, we have this document overview that will actually show you the blocks or the elements that are added on our page. Okay. And after this, if I wanted to edit this with Elementor, which is actually a different page builder other than the default builder of the WordPress, we're going to learn about this later. But right now we're going to focus on this one. All right. So you can see this, I can actually select any of these uh, elements from here directly. So if I just click on the image, you will be able to see these different options here. So first of all, we have this drag. So if you want to change the position of the image, we can also do this. Like we can put this before the paragraph or after the paragraph or even before the headings. So wherever we want to adjust this, but I'm going to keep this on the same position here. And after this, we can do the same thing with these two buttons here, which is actually the move up and move down button. And after this, we have the option for the width here. So in the width, we have these different options for the wide width, full width, align center, align left and align right. And after this, for the images, we have this dew tone filter. So if you want to apply any of these dew tone filter here, you can simply do this from here. But I'm going to simply clear this from here because I don't want to add anything. And after this, if I wanted to add any link to my image, I can do this from here. Okay. And after this, we have the option to crop. So if I wanted to crop the image, I can do this from here. And after this, we have the option to add the text over the image. Okay. So I'm going to add some text here, maybe. So let's just say surfing here. All right. So I'm going to click on my image here. Okay. So now you can see here, we have actually converted our image into the cover here, but I think I'm going to go back to the default value because I don't want this. I'm going to simply click here on the undo here. And we're going to go back to our image. Okay. So after this, we have the caption. So if you wanted to add the caption, we can also add the caption onto our image. So we're going to add the surfing here. That would make more sense. And after this, we have the option to copy the style. So basically this applies on this also. So this would actually copy the property values of our image. And let's say if I wanted to apply this on any other image, I can simply do this from here. And after this, we have the replace button from here. If I wanted to replace the image to any other image, I can also do this from here. And if you just click on these three dots, you'll be able to see a lot of the different options here. But along with this, you can see here we have 
the settings here of the image on which we have the alternative text we have the aspect ratio we have the resolution and if i just click on the style here you can see this we have the style which is default we have the rounded and you can also add the filters into this and also the border and the shadows okay similarly we have the options for the paragraph as well so on the paragraph obviously we would have the different kind of the options so in the paragraph we have the text alignment here we have the copy style from here and after this we have these different options here and if i wanted to make this look bold i can simply select this and i can make this look bold from here okay and also the italic as well but right now i'm gonna see simply keep this as the way it was and after that if i wanted to make this text or any of this text which i select from here into the link i can simply click on the link here and i can then add the link to it so that is how it works and after this we have these different options here and if i just click here you can see this we also have these different options so if you wanted to highlight something i can simply do this from here so i'm going to go here with this one okay so i think i will need to select the text from here and let's just click on the highlight click on the color here now you'll be able to see that we are having a different color on the navigation obviously this is not looking good so we're going to simply change this from here so this is going to be this color maybe yeah this one okay so this is how we can edit our paragraph here so let's just align this into the center right now just for the sake of example and even if i wanted to change the text color of my paragraph i can do this from here and if I wanted to change the background color of my paragraph, I can do this from here. So let's change the background here. So we can go here with this one or this one or something light color here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here with this one. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to change the font size here. So we're going to go here with the medium or large here. Or I can also go here with the extra large and extra, extra large here. But we're going to go here with the small. Perfect. And I'm going to put this to the left side. Okay. And after that, we have the dimensions. So in the dimension, we have the two values. So if I wanted to add the value of the padding and the margin, I can do this from here. And after this, we have the advanced settings. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the function of copy style here. So I'm going to simply click here and would click on the copy style. And now I will just simply click on this paragraph here. And let's just click on this copy and paste. And now I will just click on paste style. And now you will be able to see here that it actually copied the style of our first paragraph. So this is how it works. All right. So from here, we can actually add the new elements or the blocks into our page. Okay. So let's say if I go here with any of these options here. So I'm going to go here with, uh, let's say, calendar. So I can simply add the calendar from here. And then I can edit this with the available options. Okay and let's just say if you're going to go here with any other thing here and after that if i wanted to add let's say the google map here i can simply add this from here after adding the map we can also explore the other options as well so if i just click on the list here you can see this i can simply add the list items here and if i just click on the heading i can also add the heading if i just click on the code here i can also add the code here so this is how we can edit our page into the wordpress okay so that is actually with the default editor of the WordPress. But let's say that you wanted to do the things with the Elementor. So how can we do this with the Elementor? It's pretty simple. We're going to go again inside the pages and click on the all pages. And here I would just simply click on this one. So let's click on edit with Elementor. Now it will redirect us to the Elementor editor. So now from here, I can actually edit my page here as well okay so how can you do this it's pretty simple we can simply click on the item here and from here you can actually edit the heading and if you just click on the button here you can actually edit the style of the button from here and we also have the container so you can see this we have this container so i can actually adjust the width of this container uh height of this container direction of this and we can also explore the other options here as well but right now let's click on the style here and let's say i wanted to go here with the background color so i'm going to click here let's just add the background color and you can see this this is how we can add the background color similarly we can add these headings as well and if i wanted to add a new container here i can simply add this from here let's just click on the flex box select the direction and again you can simply click on the add element and from here 
you can add the elements into your page here so let's say if i wanted to click here if i wanted to go here with the image i will simply click on the image now let's click on the choose image and now from here i can actually go here with any image here okay in my media library so this is how we can also edit the page in the wordpress using elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel